You know what I mean? We ain't into that. We ain't into the cloning age. You know, you motherfuckers be trying to do that shit that we be watching in them motherfucking, them fucking, uh, them sci-fi movies and some shit. When you see a motherfucker cloning another and trying to manufacture from the motherfucking original prototype. I mean, you can't do none of that shit. We're still in the hood. You feel me? We ain't in all of that other fucking strange shit. You strange ass shit. They want to copy shit. Again, they back the fuck up. You feel me? Noise makers is an establishment that's been founded a while ago. From the era of when the cutting of the cloth from that fabric was some different shit. In case y'all guys ain't see the Wanted movie, you need to go see that. Because when your name come up in that fabric, your fanny off might get peeled back. Now, all of that, this I'm saying, I'm going to just translate it to simple terms. Don't ride trying to bite over the gun. Period. That's some home. It's in there. So what we going to do is just keep it real simple. The homie DJ Rico and the whole mother nigga. Oh, listen, the noisemaker team is the foundation. Dation, 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 Wow. <laughs> Let's go, y'all. Walking to Go Go Radio Live, baby. Yes, sir. My body, baby. Top of the morning, team Tyrone. Let's go. Ooh. <laughs> All right, this is how we're going to start this morning. This is how we're going to go this morning. Hold on, man. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. I'm Shannon. <laughs> April. Happy birthday, April. April. Oh, Miss Jones, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday, April. Yes, sir. Good to see you, Nisa Fred. Yeah, man. Man, man, what's up, sis? Miss Mo, what's happening, baby? Roddy Roddy Piper's here. Jay Quan is here. Good to see you, Sherry. My man, my big brother, Tyrone. What's up, Dwayne? Erica Benton, how you feeling, sis? Akeemet Prince, how you doing? I hope I said it right. Yeah. Hey, Dwayne, what's good, brother? Yeah, man. Yes, sir, Reggie. What's 
What's up, Demetrius? Hey, Soprano. How you doing, Soprano? Rob Brace is here. This is how we get started this morning, y'all. I got Councilman McDuffie going to join us today. Gonna be joining us today. My favorite trouble funk joint. favorite joints. Lakewood means rewind, a gunshot means forward, forward, we forward, forward, it, so forward. We rewind, we rewind, we rewind. We rewind. what is your profession? My goodness. Make sure you get the Go Go Radio Live back, baby. Lord, have mercy. I'm telling you, man. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Hump Day Wednesday. What's up, Reggie? I see my brother from Germany's here. Ooh. <laughs> yes, sir.
We got Councilman Kenyon McDuffie joining us. In the next hour, y'all. Yes, sir. Where that wheel? Hold on, baby. Ward oh, L, good to see you this morning, brother. Rob Bryce. Sherry Jones. I'm going to touch every last bit of the alphabet. <laughs> I ain't going to rush the Z, baby. Hold on, y'all. The army DJ Rico and the whole mother nigga. Listen, the noise making team is the foundation. <laughs> Wanda, I see you. Hey, girl. Tanya, I see you, baby. Hey, Tanya. Hey, girl. Good to see you there. You already know, April. 
Happy birthday to you, baby. Happy birthday, April. What up, Dom? What up, Dom? I got Atlanta in the building. Yeah. I see you, Sassy. Morning, Miss Yvonne. Hey, baby. Join us in the next hour. Straighters of our DJ scene. Yes, sir. Big ass to my brother, DJ G Shop. My goodness. Good to see my brother, I swear. Dante, what's up, Dante? Brother DJ G Shop, man, I swear. Always a good day, a bright day when that dude show up. Y'all take care of Shannon Brown. You already know. Yeah. One of the baddest. Lady behind the sticks. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sound like Steve Roy. Oh my goodness, yeah. Shannon Brown. We can eat with Shan. Hey, Dina. Morning to you, Dina. 
Sheila Jackson. Hey, Sheila. Yeah. Morning to you, Double H. Party mode live tonight, y'all. Right here on Go Go Radio Live. Go Go TV. Straight up at 8 o'clock. Greetings and salutations, Mr. Malik Pinkney. Mr. MP! Al V, what's happening, brother? Good to see my brother DJ Al V this morning, y'all. Fully vaccinated and fresh. <laughs> Good to see you, Al V. Party mode live tonight, y'all, 8 o'clock. Big guest to my brother, DJ Al V this morning. Dang, yeah. Tammy Ferg. 
Sammy Ferguson's here. Morning, Sammy Ferg. Is that the Super Funk Regulator CeeLo? Is that the Super Funk Regulator CeeLo? Thank you, CeeLo. <laughs> It might be that 808 that got in that joint, CeeLo. It might be that 808 that got in there, CeeLo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got the Super Funk Regulator, CeeLo. I got G-Shop. I got DJ LV. Three of the baddest damn DJs that's ever done a goddamn thing in DJing, period, in music, period. Wow. Welcome to Go Go Radio Live, y'all. Ho, 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 ho. Big ass to my brother, the Super Folk Regulator, CeeLo. My brother, G Shot. My brother, DJ LV. Lord have mercy, Lisa Malloy's here. Good to see you, Ed. What's up, Anthony Gant? Yeah. Hey, Vanessa. Yeah, I think it's that eight in that joint, CeeLo. You know, that's that Northeast Rumble. Yeah, that's that Northeast Rumble, CeeLo. That's that Northeast Rumble, CeeLo. That's that Northeast Rumble, CeeLo. Rumble get to your toes and do some other stuff. I swear, I can't do too much though. I can't wait to get this knee checked out tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Sean, what up, Sean? I just saw Sean Meadows is here. <laughs> yes, sir. Wait a minute. Good to see you, Stephanie. Make sure my head stand on me over there. And make sure if you're watching on Apple TV, man, call somebody, tell somebody, text somebody, let somebody know. If you're watching on Roku, let somebody know. Check this out on Spotify, let somebody know. Hey, CeeLo, 
Fun fact. Did you know that me and DJ G Shop got the same birthday? I swear, C Love. That's that new beast rumble. Come on, Kyrie. Turn man. Woo, 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 woo. Trust me, I am, Bella. What up, Sean? Good to see you, bro. Let's go. 
Gunshot means forward, 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 so we rewind. Re 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 the rewind button this is what the fellas get spartans what is your profession <laughs> Get out of this 
this one like the We on Roku, we on Apple, Why the fuck we on Spotify. Like we on Apple Music, Gotta go. iTunes,
I'm telling you.
know I got you watching. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh boy. I told you I was gonna be a, a fun field show today, right? I told you it was gonna be a fun full show today. <laughs> so look, we gotta take a pause for the calls real quick because I got somebody uh, very important on the line right now. I got one of my brothers on the line right now, not even realizing that he was one of my brothers till like maybe a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. You know no what I'm saying? Uh, but he is uh, in our city in Washington, D.C., in the DMV, as I, one of the councilmen that's definitely taking full control. And I'm going to say this, I'm going to put this out there, that's helping the music of Go-Go. And uh, he's actually, uh, what, what, what ward are you in, uh, Kenya? I represent Ward 5, the best ward in the entire DMV. <laughs> <one. laughs> And look, that's why I asked you to say it, because I knew you was going to say that. <laughs> no question. War 5, the wonderful War 5. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and when I tell you, he has been doing everything possible to make sure that we get this whole thing established with go-go music, not just being the music that's stamped for Washington, D.C., but also be well-respected just as any other genre of music. Ladies and gentlemen, my man, my brother, Councilman Kenyon McDuffie. What's happening brother there, brother? Rico, brother Rico, I am doing well, man. It, it was so good to talk to you a couple weeks ago. I did not know that we had that amazing connection with my my, my man, Coop. Yeah, uh, man. Coop, Coop and I go back to the sandbox when we used to play ball against each other, uh, you know, coming up. And, and I didn't know that you all were family. Yeah, didn't man. Know. My first, my first cousin. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what's up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, but it's always, first of all, it's always good to see you, uh, talk to you. Nevertheless, I don't care what it's, what it's about, you know what I'm saying? It's always good to see you, brother. So I uh, thank you for doing everything that you've been doing with the efforts of uh, this push with our uh, go-go music and also doing everything that you possibly can do to go ahead and get uh, this whole thing that's designated for go-go music for, you know, the people that are in the bands and so on and so forth. So let's speak a little bit about it, man. Tell the folks what's going on. Yeah, no doubt. So so you all know the, the, the history. They've been listening to you. Uh, you have to be under a rock not to not to really recognize what happened, um, you know, down at the T-Mobile uh, with Donald and the folks. Uh, you know, and so as a result, don't leave D.C., long leave go-go. Folks took to the streets. And, and I really work with, uh, you know, folks who are in that space, including my man Cam Pose with Black Alley, uh, who said, you know what, with everything going on, we should find out a way to, to, to better recognize Gogo. And then, since I'm on the council, uh, I should think about how I can do that. And so I made Gogo the official music with the support of my colleagues unanimously. And I also went beyond just making it the official music because that's only, you know, a law that makes it official. I wanted to put some real money behind it. Right. And so I worked with my colleagues at the council and I identified three million dollars uh, to, to fund GoGo -Go Music. And so we got a million dollars that went over to Events DC, a million dollars that went to the Office of Cable Television, Film and Music, uh, as well as a million dollars that went to DC Public Libraries. And and that money is, is, is starting to hit the streets. And so applications just opened up recently uh, for the funding that's coming out of the Events DC. And the idea was to provide that stimulus to the GoGo -Go community you know, given all that the GoGo -Go community has brought to the District of Columbia. Rico, I gotta tell you, man, like, this is a sentiment that, you know, some people think that GoGo -Go and that the community, the bands, the artists, everybody involved, like, should be thanking DC government because we put $3 million in the budget. I appreciate that I was able to work with my colleagues and do that to support GoGo, -Go, but the reality is DC government should be thanking GoGo, -Go, mm. right? We have to acknowledge and keep our end of the bargain that go go music has been there for decades and it's one of the reasons why we celebrate our rich culture in this city and that you know go go doesn't owe us anything as a government we owe it we owe all the people uh, and all the bands who've been putting in work for so for so so many years and only are now really starting to get acknowledged because of what happened with uh, at the metro uh t-mobile at florida avenue and 7th street so now let me ask you um I know it's been a, a, a lot of talks about, you know, how many bands will actually, uh, should I say, uh, benefit anything from this. Uh, here's the thing, I, and I want a lot of people to understand, I'm saying this myself. 
it's not about right now at this point of who benefits from it. It's about how we get it so everybody can actually benefit from it. And it's going to take time. It's going to take work. Am I right? Absolutely. That That is a great point. I appreciate you raising it. Uh, it is going to take time, right? And, and, and the $3 million that uh, I was able to identify uh, is really, as far as I'm concerned, the beginning, only the beginning, right? right? Uh, and that, you know, we can't continue as a city to use GoGo when it's convenient, uh, given that GoGo has been there for all of us, uh, and particularly DC natives. Uh, and so when the pandemic hit, everyone, you know, among the first people to be hit by that pandemic were the folks who are performing in entertainment venues, right? But despite those challenges, the GoGo community kept going, right? They, they went virtual and started offering streaming concerts for, for, of so many of the bands. And, and they offered us, frankly, some relief, you know, when, when they were the ones who were really in need because they couldn't perform and earn a living the way that they had been uh, prior to the pandemic. And so I wanted to make sure that we, we you know, tried to return, you know, the, the favor and let, let the GoGo community know that we were going to invest in them as a city. Uh, and, and that's what this is all about. So we try to get uh, funds to individuals and to the bands uh, during this pandemic. But the plan is to have this continue. As far as I'm concerned, we want to make sure that this continues into future budgets as well. The money that I identified was $3 million, one-time money in fiscal year 2021. And without getting too bogged down into the, 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 the weeds of the legislative process, it means that come October 1, there won't be money unless we put money into the budget that is about to come down from the mayor. She submits her budget uh, next month on April 27th. And I'm hoping that there'll be money this year in her budget for GoGo. So now let me ask you. What because if it's not, then I'm going to have to work with my colleagues again and try to identify additional funds. Okay, okay. So now let me ask you, what actually, what, what hit you, what motivated you, what inspired you to go ahead and say, look, enough is enough. Let's get this done. Let's do this. I see these bands working out, doing this, the, you know, the men and the women that's in the in the go-go bands, in the go-go community, doing this, that, and the other. We got to do something about, you know, helping them. So what was your inspiration on doing this? It, it really was the experience of, of, of being a D.C. native and, and then watching and listening and seeing what happened uh, with Don down at the Metro, uh, you know, DCS when they tried to shut them down, right? And, and, and that series of events, if you recall, uh, DJ Rico, there was also the, the incident on uh, in the yard at Howard mm. with the, the person, you know, trying to walk their dogs. And, yeah. and so just that, that, that sort of sequence of events over the last several years, and there's some ones that, that, that perhaps I'm not naming that you all can think of that really caused me to think deeply about you know, what it means to respect the culture. Again, I say all the time, you don't have to have be a DC native or, 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 native or, or have grown up listening to the go-go or ever have been to a go-go. And frankly, you don't have to like go-go music. Right. But you got to respect the culture, right? And, and when you hear all of those things about trying to shut the music down, you know, trying to, you know, walk your dogs in the yard at Howard, you think about sort of whether or not people are respecting the culture. And as a DC native, that culture is important to me and I think important to, to some people who are not natives, people who have come here who are considerate about the communities to which they have come and appreciate the rich culture and diversity that is the District of Columbia. And so, you know, while GoGo is enjoyed by people of all colors, backgrounds, ethnicities, nationalities, uh, you know, we saw what could happen if, if the city doesn't embrace it the way it should. We should be embracing GoGo and the District of Columbia the same way that, you know, jazz is embraced in New Orleans, that, that country music is embraced in Nashville, that, that rap music is, is embraced in New York City. Uh, and, and, and this is this is about, right? This is an effort that I'm trying to amplify the voices of so many who have brought me, and, and, you know, so much joy over the years and able to celebrate. Uh, and I think it's only fitting that we do that, really elevate the music to the statue that it deserves in our nation's capital. So uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Councilman uh, Kenyon McDuffie on the line from uh, the, the great uh, Ward Five up over there doing it, doing this thing. And uh, let me say this: first of all, um, I appreciate you for should I say stepping out, and I'm uh, I'm honestly say this, jumping out on a limb 
and uh, doing what you're doing for the music in itself. And being someone who's experienced the go-go bands and experienced, uh, this is no pun intended using the word experience, big up to experience and unlimited. Um, <laughs> but being, being a DC native and with all of that's been going on for the last couple of years with the movement of uh, Don't Mute DC and uh, everything that went on down in front of the store, how do you feel that we as uh, members and family of GoGo has been, should I say, moving forward since everything that has happened in front of the T-Mobile store? Yeah, so so let me just say, y'all don't, and nobody needs to thank me. Uh, I need to, you know, thank you all. And, and, and one of the ways that I do that is, you know, through my capacity as, uh, you know, a person who is, is privileged enough to represent uh, my hometown, my home ward on the Council of the District of Columbia. And so I'm, I'm thankful to you. I'm thankful to Nico. I'm thankful to Funk. I'm thankful to Sugar Bear. I'm thankful to Big G. I'm thankful, you know, to all these bands and the people that support the bands, the engineers, the light folks, the, the people who, who own the venues that have opened up the go-go over the years, despite efforts to shut it down. Uh, I'm thankful to them. And, and, and frankly, you know, it is with the efforts of, 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 of those folks that we should continue to do what, what we're doing right now. So this $3 million, again, is, is, is only beginning as far as I'm concerned, because we need to make sure that people have COVID relief funds because they're still struggling to perform, even as we try to open back up gradually. Right. Uh, people are struggling to earn a living the way that they were. And we need to also invest in their performances, right? Opportunities for go-go artists through the Digital Columbia's media outlets, such as the Office of Cable Television, Film and Entertainment, Events DC, the spaces that they have, uh, we should be supporting, you know, artists' ability to, to perform um, and really promoting that. You know, when people are coming off the planes at, at DCA at National Airport, uh, they should be hearing go-go music, right? When they're coming into the convention center, when they're coming into our restaurants, uh, our hospitality tourism industries should be amplifying the music so that people can identify with our homegrown genre. And so, you know, we're going to keep pushing this. Again, the, the applications have opened up for the COVID relief uh, for individuals and bands. Uh, we want people to, to apply. But but if you aren't able to, to, to get it in this round, uh, yeah, I don't want people to be discouraged, right? Because I don't want people to... I think there's part of this, DJ Rico, where people think, you know, that this wasn't going to be real, that this money wasn't real. Well, now that we see it is real and it is going to hit people uh, in their pockets and help sustain them through this pandemic... Uh, but the idea is not simply to to do this throughout the pandemic. You know, we want to ensure, I want to ensure that GoGo is ingrained in the culture of all Washingtonians, whether you've been here for three minutes, three months, or three years, uh, or your entire lifetime. Uh, you should understand the importance of GoGo to our culture and, and to the community throughout the District of Columbia. And I want to ensure that there's funding to continue to support uh, the projects, the events beyond the pandemic, uh, that the resources are available from the District of Columbia government to preserve GoGo uh, well into the future for generations to come. And, and not merely that GoGo survives this pandemic, it's got to thrive moving forward well beyond the pandemic. Okay. So now now we're going we're gonna to cross our fingers, you know, and, you know, hold our hands to our eyes and hope that uh, Mayor Bowser agrees to possibly put some more money into this for the next physical year and everything else because I think if if in fact we can actually keep getting it pushed more and more, I think we're going to be all right. I, I know we're going to be all right because the thing is, again, you're going to say, shouldn't nobody thank you, but brother, let me tell you something. For somebody of your statute to actually jump in and actually try to move to get this bill, to go ahead and get this money, this funding done, you are definitely appreciated, brother. So trust me. Well, that. I appreciate it. Let's I appreciate it. Yeah, we we are calling. You know, the, I'm hopeful that the mayor uh, will have uh, funds in her budget. And and, and and my hope is that the three million dollars is a baseline. It is a floor, right? That's the that's the minimum that we should see. Right. Uh, I, I think we should see well beyond that because I think Gogo's contributions to the district go well beyond three million dollars. So now this is totally somewhere else and off the record. What are your three favorite go-go bands? 
Oh man, you about to put me on the spot. So, yeah, so you know, you know, I, had, you know I was. I, I can tell you, I can tell you what I grew up. Go ahead. What, what I grew up on, and it's hard to do three though. Rico, man, come on. So, so, so. Okay, well, go ahead. Now, well, let's, well, go ahead. Go five. Go five, Kenyon. Give all me right. five. So, so I'm gonna tell you, it, it was all about Essence, JYB, BYB, Groovers, man. You I'm know talking about Groovers. Man, <laughs> used to get the party started yeah. uh, back in the day, man. And so, and so with the fifth one, that's a hard one, man. I, look, I, I, I messed with the, the the new bands too. So, so TOB, TTB. But but I will tell you, I still got a, a special place in my heart for Trouble Funk, man, because that was a that was the kind of music that my father was playing yeah. back in the day, right? That was my real first introduction to it with Chuck. And then, you know, you had Trouble Funk, you had the old school bands too. So I look, man, Trouble Funk, Chuck Brown, so Essence, JYB, BYB, man, Northeast Groovers, uh, TOB, TCB, man, we could go on for days, man. Little Trey used to be my man too. Yo, we used to be like, look. It's so many classics out there, it's hard to just name a handful, man. Well, see, the thing is, I, I did my homework and found out because, see, I knew Trouble Funk was like your favorite from back in the day because, you know, I had to do my my, my Councilman McDuffie homework, and I did my homework, and a, a picture popped up of you dancing to some Trouble Funk one time somewhere down on uh, 8th Street. So I Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that, that, you know, my, my father had like the album, right? And so, and so, you know, he's no longer with us, man. But that kind of stuff, for me, it is invaluable. Those memories that I have as a family, you know, with, 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 with my folks. You know, I, I think sometimes people don't quite understand, you know, how significant go-go music is for people who, who you know, grew up listening to it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, going to, you know, the black hole back in the day with my older brothers, you know, when I was probably, yeah, I just say that, that, that people are a lot older than I was, right? right. But right. those memories are, are indelibly etched uh, in my mind and, and have helped to shape who I am, right? And so, so I, I can't help but do my work at the council through the lens of, of, of my youth and, and, and my experience growing up in the District of Columbia. And I'm very appreciative of that. And so, again, I, 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 you know, we, we should continue to pay homage to, to everybody who's contributed to, to all that we have in our go-go community today. Man, uh, I, I tell you, brother, I appreciate you. Love you to death, man. And what, what's so Love crazy too, is I, I've had the utmost respect for you before we, we even found out that we was connected through another body. But I'm telling you, it's, it's like it's funny how things work out and how, you know, people come together in, in the strangest ways. And I'm, you know, glad that you're somebody that I know that's on the forefront that's kind of like handling this business to go ahead and make this movement possible. And I appreciate everything that you're doing uh, moving forward and everything else that you're going to do. So thank you, brother. I appreciate you too, man. Thanks for giving me a little time to talk about this. Ah, you know that, man. Hey, we're going to be in touch. We're going to talk because we got to sit down and get, you know, eat some crabs or some shrimp or some lobster or something. Let's do it. Let's do it. No <laughs> doubt about it, bro. You already know. Appreciate you, Kenyon. I'll holler at you later Appreciate on, you too. All right. Yes, Good. sir. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Councilman uh, Kenyon McDuffie, that's my man right there talking about that uh the bill that's been signed for uh go go music to uh, get a little bit of money for some of the bands man uh, due to you know not being able to perform and all the other kind of stuff that's been going on with covid um kind of like keeping the bands off stage and um a lot of bands have been um not able to work and got to provide for their families still so uh, I got to say big ups. Much love to Kenya McDuffie, man. I'm telling you. So, um, we got 30 minutes. We got 30 minutes. Let me start back off on uh, on this Trouble Funk thing for Councilman McDuffie. Let me go here. Hold on.
Tell you, this is something good, Rob Bryce. Woo! Good Lord, Bella! Say what y'all? Let's put that thing in four gear. Hold on, baby! I didn't believe it. I thought I was tripping. Oh, 
Mata! Bloody Rico got it going! Over! I'm Big Tony! Somebody there, DJ Tony Rico got it going on Fobo Radio Live! Yeah! So you know we gon' do it! We gon' do it for the trouble folks, baby! We gon' do it for the single folks, baby! We gon' do it for the single folks, baby! We gon' do it for the entire DMV! Washington, D.C. Oh, let's get it, let's go. Hold on, man. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Play one more time, boy. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you don't like the wrong place one time. Big Tony's in the room. <laughs> oh my goodness! Trouble folk is in the room. One time, y'all. Let's go. That's when McDuffie said. Trouble Fun was that bad for him. Big ass and Big Tony. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Go, 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 go. Oh. I'll tell you. Trouble Fun is in the studio. We got something coming out soon. Keep your ears close. Oh yeah. Come on, Tony! Let's go! This is my favorite. I gotta rewind this one. Input means rewind, a gun jet means forward. You the crazy this, so we rewind, we rewind, we rewind. This is one of my favorites right here.
Stop the boogie now! Ooh. Ow!
I swear, everything in me, for those of y'all who did not know, my brother Dave used to play saxophone with Trouble Funk. Trouble Funk is kind of like one of the bands that I got my first spill of go-go music from when I was just 10 years old. <laughs> when I say Trouble Funk is one of the bands that I first got my spill of go-go music from, my brother was a saxophone player for Trouble Funk. Dave Rudd. My brother used to play a whole lot of music all the time. When this Bama got with Trouble Funk, when this Bama was playing for Trouble Funk, I had the privilege of hearing Trouble Funk as a young, young, youngin. And when Trouble Funk came out with that double, that four-sided, it was a double vinyl, it was A, B, C, D side. All you had to do was go ahead and play that joint and just let it play. Because somebody said, Don't, Don't test, test that stereo. yo. Just let the next one drop on top of the first one. Trouble Funk 
one of the most sampled bands in music, period. 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 My family from California, my family from Tennessee, my family from North Carolina, my family from Kentucky, my family from New Mexico, my family from Texas, my family from uh, South Carolina, my family from New York City, especially my family from the DMV. Appreciate my DJ brothers, I swear. I thank the entire Noise Maker Nation for making noise with me. And I appreciate y'all just being who you are, man. Whatever you do, be a positive if somebody's negative because you'll never know what somebody's been going through. Somebody somewhere has been going through a little rougher time than we have. Whatever you do, make sure you get the GoGo Radio Live app, y'all. Make sure you get the app, put the app on your phone, and you can crank up with us 24-7. I will talk to you on my social media. Get at me on Instagram, DJ Rico the Noisemaker. Get at me on Facebook, Rico Scott. And make sure whatever you do, 
show more love than hate, man. Again, be a positive to somebody's negative. You'll never know who needs it. Super Funk Regulator CeeLo, love you, brother. I swear to God, boy. Much love to my brother DJ Al V, my brother DJ G Shop, my brother Double H from Party Mo Live, the ladies of the Noisemaker Nation, the fellas, the men of the Noisemaker Nation, Rob Bryce, my big brother Mike, my man Tyrone. Much love to you, Bella, I swear. Tammy Hester, love you, girl. Much love to my man Demetrius, thank you, brother. Much love to you, I see you, Tawanda Perry, I see you, girl. Love you right back, baby, big ass to my man Derek. These grooming salons. Lisa Fred, love you, girl. My brother Reggie and Reggie, my brother Reggie and Clinton, my brother Reggie in Germany. Hey, Cindy, you better listen to me on Magic 102.3. <laughs> not, that, not that other station you said. <laughs> oh, man. I will see y'all a little later on, baby. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. The noise maker team is the 